Hey friends, um, welcome back for another garden tour. It is June 5th, I believe. <laughs> yes, it's June 5th. I just wanted to show you how everything's doing and then I have a few things that we need to get done. A um, few new things that need to be planted and then a couple things that need to be pulled out. I have a few exciting things going on and then a few things that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. So um, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I've already gotten about um, 12, I think, cucumbers off these plants. But as you can see, they're looking like they've got something going on. Now, in the morning, um, they do get hit by the sprinklers. And so, uh, right now it's only set for three days a week, but today was one of those days, so the leaves are wet. And so that's definitely contributing to this. Um, they're still producing okay, and I I don't think it's like a disease. I mean, it still might be, but the the... The leaves that are underneath that aren't getting hit by water are much healthier, you can see from here. So I just harvested a bunch the other day, so there's none down here, I mean this little guy. And then um, on this plant here, we've just got that one. All right, I wanted to come in here and show you this. Check this out, that's my little pineapple, you guys. I told you I didn't think anything was gonna happen, and it did. Um, I'll pull you in close, but I just, I'm so excited about that. So you can tell this is gonna be, here's my hand. Um, oh, that's spiky. I just cut myself. Um, anyway, so this this right here is going to be the pineapple, I believe, and then that's going to be the crown. So it's going to be tiny, but it's my pineapple. Here's the oregano, still going strong. Here is the first Roma. Um, definitely something going on here. I'm thinking it could be early blight. Um, so I'm kind of bummed about that. However, there are a good amount of tomatoes on this. Um, this is a watermelon and it's doing great. It's a container watermelon that plants only supposed to get about 16 to 18 inches um, in size. So <laughs> here's to hoping. I don't think there's any baby fruit on this just yet, um, but it's coming along. And these are the sweet potatoes. Still not doing too much, but you never really know what's going on underground. So this is the bok choy. We're going to have to come in and pull this off today. I've got marigolds here. And also on the other side of this planter and all my basil. Two um, cucumber plants that because this isn't getting a lot of sun aren't doing so great. I'm actually going to pull this flower off because it's not ready to flower yet. Another Roma which is also struggling. I've been really careful when I come in and prune anything off to sanitize my scissors between so they don't spread it. This is the um, eggplant which I bought from the store. I've never grown before. And there's a baby eggplant growing right there. Here's the other Roma. This one's a bit healthier and they all have fruit on them. So This watermelon is the same exact variety and planted at the same time as that watermelon over there. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't get as much sun. You can see the sun right here just barely misses it until about one o'clock in the afternoon. Then it starts getting sun. This is the um, patty pan squash. You can see the little fruit. It was doing a lot better until, like I said, the sun shifted and it's not getting enough sun now. It's oregano, it's doing fine. Overwintered jalapeno. It's been overwintered many years now. And we got our first flowers. This one looks like it's probably our first jalapeno right there. So we'll see how that does. This is the Thai pepper right here. There's a lot of flowers on it. There's a lot of Thai peppers on this. Um, this is what Thai peppers look like. They turn red and this is what it looks like after it dries. <laughs> Very big bushy basil plant. This is the bear's lime or beer's lime, not sure how to pronounce it. This is my little mandarin tree. Got quite a few little mandarins on this. I hope you can hear me over the birds. There's a lot of birds right now. I think there's like 20 or so on this little plant. Then at the bottom of my hill, We've got those as sunflowers back there. This like wild bushy stuff. Well, these are my zinnias. Behind the zinnias, that is all California wildflower mix. And it's ready to flower. I don't know what the flowers are gonna look like, so I'll let you know when I find out. Um, the zinnias, however, did bloom and they're gorgeous. Um, bright, bright flowers, really pretty. Um, but something came in here and broke the stem. It, um, something heavy must have tried to crawl up the stem and it snapped right there, but it's still growing along the ground. So I'm just going to let it. It's another Thai pepper. But I've got two cayennes right here and right here. Here's, uh, you 
can see there's a few more fruit in there as well. So next to cayenne is, this is another jalapeno, which you got um, some flowers on, so we'll get fruit soon. Next to that is this poblano, which has just gone nuts. If you can see the size difference, this is the, the jalapeno cayenne. That's the poblano. And it's got quite a few little baby poblanos on it, so I'm pretty excited about that. Next to the poblano is um, California bell pepper. These have never really done too well for me. They don't get very big. So there's one. We'll see how big they get. Um, this is another California Wonder Pepper. And this is another California Wonder Pepper. Behind all the peppers are the tomatoes. So we got cherry tomatoes here, which you can see some of them are ready. They're so, look at how long this is. Just crazy how long this is. And I also wanted to point out this right here, this tomato plant, this is a cherry tomato, is supposed to be the same variety as the one right next to it. Um, I planted them from the same seed packet. And if you check this out, those don't look the same at all. Here's another cluster. So we've got larger fruit and a lot fewer per cluster. They don't look the same to me, um, but they're from the same seed packet. Behind um, the jalapeno pepper is one of the cayennes. Coming close, you can see there's a ton of fruit on these. Um, and I can squeeze these and that's where the fruit is right there. Um, so they're not ready yet, but they're filling in. There's two more tomatillos back here. I think I called them something else <laughs> before. Uh, but sorry, these are all tomatillos. And these two are kind of stunted compared to this one, which is going wild. And I'm pruning this one, but I think it's actually because this one just gets more sunlight. So I also wanted to show this. I don't know, it's my first year doing tomatillos, so maybe somebody has some insight. There's a few, a nice handful of them growing like this where they're outside their husk. And I'm just wondering like, is that normal? <laughs> that just looks so weird to me. And then next to the tomatillos are the beefsteaks, which look, I got my first one ripening. Tons of fruit on this. These are also beefsteaks right here. And they're starting to ripen as well. Next to the beefsteaks are the California wildflower mix. These ones have been blooming for a couple weeks now. Everything else hasn't started blooming yet, so I don't know what those are gonna look like. Um, and next to that, all four of these are zucchini. And let me get around the rose bush so I can show you those. I have definitely cut myself in the rose bush. These smell amazing. I wish you guys could smell them. All right, so these are the zucchini trying to train them up the stakes, but I haven't come out here to actually tie them up. So I've gotten lazy. That's something we've got to do today. And then across the um, walkway from those is the potatoes. And if you can see, the potatoes have flowered. So that means that they're putting out tubers. And again, behind the rose bush that smells amazing, but hurts when you <laughs> bump into it. They literally, they just, they smell so amazing. Rose is one of my favorite scents and these smell so strong. Um, all of the roses that were here on the property when we bought it um, are very, very potent. <laughs> I love them. We have our onions, which are still pretty stunted. Whatever was eating them has stopped, but they're pretty, they're pretty stunted. So I planted these on March 13th and it's June 5th. So they should definitely be bigger than this and they're not, but oh well. Um, next to them, I planted, um, these are watermelon, another round of container watermelons. I went with a small variety. Um, this is also watermelon. I put them in cages, which you'll see in a bit, but because something was eating all my seedlings. And this is actually, you can see even inside the cage. It worked pretty good, um, but something's still eating them. I'm gonna go pull out these weaker ones. Um, um, and these two right here are cucumbers, a mixed variety of onions, and they need to come be topped off. If you can see, they're starting to fall over and you don't want that. Um, I, I topped a few of these off, but these are the ones I didn't get to and they are definitely pulling the plant down. So you wanna give them more time in the ground by topping them off. These are the green onions that have always been here and going wild. This is a sugar baby watermelon that I'm gonna try to train to grow up this um, cattle panel here here and here I had started seedlings and they have popped up 
and they were doing pretty good. And then something came in and ate all of them. We're gonna replant those today. Um, the butter babies I actually started, I want to make sure I get those. So I started those in seed um, trays. But the Jilby little, we're gonna plant him. We're just gonna put those little, uh, the little strawberry uh, baskets over them as a little cage. And then these are the turnips. We gotta come out here and harvest these today because they are plenty big. Um, and then back here are the golden, golden globe, I think they are called. And then here's the kale, still going strong. And I showed you guys these potatoes last time and that they were struggling. That was the plant I showed you last time. Completely died off. Now this whole side is dying off. This side is just starting to. So I'm just gonna wait till they completely die off and dig them out and see what I find. <gasps> if I have potatoes, great. If not, a lesson learned. Though I don't know what the lesson was because I don't know what got them. Up the hill from the garden, we have our fruit trees. Avocado tree, it's doing great. Um, same with this avocado here doing so much better. A lot of new growth. Um, I don't know if, if you were here before, I told you guys I topped this off because the whole top of this plant, it, I had to cut half it down because it had died back. Um, but I came in and I painted this um, in one of our other videos and um, now it's got a lot of new growth. So it's much happier. Down from the avocado, we have our two Paluot trees, which are going crazy. Let's come in close so we can see. Check out all of this fruit. I thinned over 400 Pluots off of these two trees, and honestly, probably more than 60% um, of the fruit I've pulled off. I probably should have pulled off more. Um, we'll find out. But they're starting, some of them are starting to blush, as you can see right there. So they'll be ready in a month or two, I think. And here, you can see something's already starting to eat this one. These are, you see that right now? These are the dappled dandy blue ones. And the ones over here that are a little more like kind of elongated looking, these are the flavor grenade, I believe. They could be flavor kings. <laughs> I'm getting confused right now. I'm pretty sure they're flavor grenades. And then those guys are dappled dandy. Up from the pluots, or over from the pluots, I should say, are the apples. They're doing great, I think, and probably another month on these is when they're typically ready. These are um, Anna apples. And then the tree to the other side of it, these are um, golden dorsets. And these will be ready first. They should be kind of a pinkish white. And if you look on the other side, they're still pretty green right now. So these are not ready, um, but they're getting there. Pretty exciting. Down from the apple trees, we have the peach trees which are so huge. Down here you can see there's fruit. These are the August Pride peach. There's a lot of fruit down that stem. A lot of fruit going up on this tree. It's gonna be another month till these are ready. And um, now you can see they're just barely starting to turn. So it kind of is growing as one tree. So this is, that side is the August Pride and this side is the Eva's Pride. I've already actually harvested all of the fruit off of this one. Um, and it was amazing. This is the Kara Kara Orange. It is struggling. <laughs> this is definitely struggling, but I do have one orange growing on it. So my first one, um, I probably shouldn't let it so that it has more time and to have energy going down into the roots and keeping the plant healthy, but I got greedy, so I'm leaving it on. <laughs> down from the Kara Kara Orange is the uh, Eureka Lemon. And this guy, it's doing better than the other one. A lot of lemons, actually, like probably 15 or so lemons on this, um, but it's not as healthy as I would like to see. So, um, but it's chugging along. I think this is the small sugar, yeah, small sugar pumpkin. So I'm gonna train this to grow down the hill because I don't have space down there to actually grow pumpkins. I figured I would try this. So I mounded up some soil here. Um, this gets irrigation from down there. Um, I just I just plugged in to the line down there and got it to come up and it the water pressure I was worried about, it's totally fine. Still no female flowers, but it's okay. This plant is tiny and not really, I don't think, ready to support some female flowers. So there's that. 
Okay, so that's what everything is looking like in the garden right now. That's everything that's growing. Um, I do have a few things we need to get done. I wanna get those um, pumpkins started and um, I don't think I'm gonna plant the um, butternut squash yet, the baby butternut squash, um, just cause I wanna give them a little more time in the seed um, trays, but we want I wanna get the Joby a little seeded and with the little cages over them, that seems to work really well. And then I also have to pull out those turnips. I wanna pull out that bok choy. And there was a couple other things and I can't remember right now, but let's go get it done. One of the reasons that I started a garden in the first place was that honestly, I don't really like vegetables all that much, but I love being outdoors and I really enjoy watching things grow. So this was not only a creative outlet for me and a way to get outside, but it was also a way to encourage me to eat uh, more vegetables. I don't really need encouragement to eat fruit. I eat plenty of fruit, <laughs> but I wanted to grow vegetables so that I would be forced to kind of try new things with them. And it has been great for me. Um, for example, these turnips, I never really ate turnips um, until this year. And these turnips, I had more than I knew what to do with. So I decided to turn them into a stir fry and that actually worked really good. They were really good in a stir fry. I forget to show you in the end, these onion tops, but I did actually use these um, in the stir fry as well. I just didn't include them in the end when I was showing everything I harvested. Okay, so there you have it. Our June garden tour. We got um, our turnips harvested. I grabbed uh, just a few little um, tomatoes that were ripe. And we've got our bok choy here. And then I was able to harvest a pretty little vase. I'll put these in a vase um, of flowers. I don't know how well you can see that. Those are um, the flowers that we harvested. I'm sure by the end of the month I will have harvested a lot more. Like I said, I've been getting zucchini um, a few times now, and so I'm sure by the end of June I will actually be getting zucchini just nonstop. Um, it happens every year. I've grown zucchini every year, and at some point you're just like, what am I supposed to do with all this zucchini? Um, I just made zucchini muffins yesterday. Those are delicious. So, um, yeah. Thanks for joining me this time, and um, if you liked this, just give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm enjoying my little harvest. Um, if you'd like to see more of what comes out of the garden and what I do with it um, indoors uh, in the kitchen, um, click the subscribe button and click the bell. You'll get notifications when new videos come out. And yeah, thanks again for joining me, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.